Hello and welcome to Master Guitar Friend. My name is Jörg. You are back for more. That's a good thing because in this lesson we will build on what we learned in lesson one. In lesson one, we covered the ABC of music, the chromatic scale, intervals, etc. If you have not watched this lesson, I suggest you go and check that lesson out first. It will make this lesson much easier. Link to it is right up here. If you enjoy my channel, then please subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notification when new videos go up. Thank you. All right, let's go check what we're going to learn in lesson two. Remember the chromatic scale we learned in lesson one. The chromatic scale can start from any of the 12 notes. Here is a sample from E to E. The key signature of the scale is now E because we start at E and we end at E. The same concept applies when we use any kind of musical scale and determines the key signature of the scale, the song or the piece of music. Let's have a look at the C major scale on the keyboard first, then the guitar. The major scale has seven notes. All are natural. There are no sharps or flats. The interval formula for the major scale is Okay, let's do this on guitar. You can clearly see on the fretboard all natural notes, no sharps or flats. We use the major scale notes when the song we are playing is in the key of C. The C major scales can be played from any C note using the major scale formula. Why don't you pause here and give it a try? Next, we're going to play the C major scale inside the open C chord. The major scale is a happy scale for uplifting songs. So we choose the C major scale just for that. Let's play the major scale on G to make it a G major scale. We are playing the scale over two octaves. You notice that the G major scale is not entirely made up of natural notes. The seventh note is an F sharp. The major scale can be constructed from any note in the chromatic scale, depending on the key signature. If you start it from A to A, then you play the A major scale. Let's circle back to sharps and flats. After C comes C sharp. It's also known as a raised C by a semitone. However, it can also be a D flat, a lower D by a semitone. This applies to all sharps and flats. Just try to remember that and don't lose any sleep over. Each note in the major scale has a number. The first is the tonic or the root, and then we have the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh back to the root. You might come across some fancier name in your research, but for now, this is all you need to know. The C minor scale has seven notes, four natural notes and three flat notes. In this case, we use flats so not to repeat the letters of the musical alphabet. The seven notes are C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, back to C. The interval formula is whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. 
here is the open C minor chord, not a widely used chord, but let's build the C minor scale within the chord notes anyway. When we use the C minor scale, we are in the key of C minor. Minor scales differ from major in that the melodies have a sadder feel. Just like the major scale, the notes of the minor scales are numbered. The first is the root, then we have a second, a minor third, a fourth, a fifth, minor sixth, a minor seventh, and back to the root C. The numbers will become very important in chord construction and chord progressions. We will discuss this in lesson three. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for learning. And I hope I see you in lesson three. Take care.